Tip number eight in our series of how to get the most out of your kickboxing class is going to be to learn how to throw a switch kick with the lead leg to again engage the core and the hips just a little bit more. From our regular stance, when we throw at the lead leg, the way it works for most people, they're going to end up doing one of two things. They're either going to lean back on their rear foot, lift the leg, and kick, which is totally fine, or they're going to take that lead foot, they're going to step it back, so they basically change their stance, and then they'll kick with the rear leg. Okay? Again, both of those are totally fine, but if you want to add a little bit more action to it, what you're going to want to do is a switch kick, which will look like this. I jump, I switch my feet, and then I quickly kick. So here's how the switch kick works. What you want to imagine is that your feet are on rails. Okay, so imagine there are railroad tracks underneath my feet. The railroad tracks are going forward, and the railroad tracks are also going backwards. What I want to do is give a little hop, and I want my rear foot to go to the front, my front foot to go to the back, but I want them to stay on the railroad tracks. So I hop and switch, one came forward, one went back, and they're still on those tracks. They're still on the same line. Then I can take that rear leg, and I can snap it, and I can throw the kick. So when I do it fast, they switch, and I kick. Notice, too, that when I make that rear leg my front leg, I've got that pivot on it to the side that we talked about back in tip number uh, seven. Okay, so I hop and I switch, and I fire off the kick. So while you're going through your combo, you've got your punches, right, hop, switch, and kick. Okay, again, if you have any trouble with that, come see me before, after, during class, whenever, and I'll be happy to help you out with it.